Hello, I'm always super excited to share the day with you, and I know that you are TV. Yeah, <laughs> I was expecting a scream there. Okay, so <laughs> I know you're online, but I, I can hear you by faith. <laughs> can hear you by faith. Okay, so so right now you know the drill we're gonna have an amazing time spending all our love pouring our love on god and how we do that is by worship by praise so when that comes on don't just sit don't just sit god really loves our praise when we praise him when we sing, when we sing to him whether your voice is nice or not <laughs> he loves it because it's like he's your dad he just wants to hear you just call his name so please do spend time loving him love him so much because he loves you and um when you when we do that we're also gonna have um share the word together so we're gonna you know watch the amazing story and i'll come back and i'll talk you through it and then listen attentively because it's gonna be a quiz and you gotta pass you gotta know what you you know i know you are you are, you are so good at it so i want you to enjoy it and enjoy it don't just see it as a quiz just see it as wow i know this much right rather than oh are they testing me this is i know this much ah and the more you know the more you grow see you soon bye and now let's go into a time of worship are you excited this day? Come on, put your hands together. Our God is good. It says you are good and your mercy is forever. Okay, so I want you to lift your hands to him and say, Lord, I thank you. Thank you for my mommy. Thank you for my daddy. Thank you for all the good things that you have done. We are so happy and we are blessed. Hallelujah. Come on, put your hands up. Come on.
Hallelujah. Come on. Hallelujah. You are so good. And your mercy is forever. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me hear you say. for the week. Please listen carefully. Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be reading a Bible verse which is coming from the book of Daniel 3 16 to 17 mm -hmm. and I read Sadrach, Meshach and the Bendigo replied, Oh Nebuchadnezzar, we do not need to defend ourselves before you. If we are thrown into the blazing furnace, the God whom we serve is able to save us. He will rescue us from your power, your majesty. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope I'll see you guys after this lockdown. Bye! God's people were captured and taken away to the country of Babylon. The king of that country was named Nebuchadnezzar. Three young Israelites, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, worked for King Nebuchadnezzar. But when the king wanted them to bow down and worship a golden idol he made, they wouldn't do it. We can't. Let's go. So the king called for Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Is it true? that you did not worship the gold statue I have set up? I will give you a second chance to bow down and worship, or no god will be able to save you from my power. Nebuchadnezzar, you certainly have the power to throw us into the furnace, and our god has the power to save us. But even if he doesn't, we will not worship your statue. The king was furious and told his soldiers to heat the furnace seven times hotter than usual. Then Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were thrown in. But guess what happened? The men in the furnace didn't burn up. God sent someone to protect them in the furnace. The king was surprised when he saw four people walking around. So he told Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego to come out of the furnace. And the king made a new law. No one would be allowed to say anything bad about the God of Israel. Fire, fire, 
boys and girls, fire, not even hot water. Like that's not any better, but don't get me wrong. It's, it's, I mean, comparable to fire and they heated this fire seven times. I need some cold water. Mm. That's 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 not a joke. I would, have you ever been touched by a very hot object? I mean, you will have a just a tiny fraction of an idea what these guys or these Hebrew boys went through. <sighs> My goodness. So 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 what's running through your mind <laughs> apart from fire? Because I can't get over it. That was fire. And the Bible says when we walk through the fire, he'll be with us. So God's word is so true because God showed up for them. I mean, imagine being threatened by the Taoiseach of Ireland and the prime minister says, no, you have to do this when it's against God's will. Would you go ahead? Well, you've just learned there's no need to. There is no one that you ought to fear except God. God made every single person on the earth, whether they know it or not, not. He made every single person. And God says, I'm the only one that you fear. I'm the only one that you bow down to. So there's no one, absolutely no one that is with absolute power except God. And if he must be God, then he must be worshipped only god deserves the worship and so because the king was asking for something that was only god's they couldn't give it so this is not just rebellion this is just obedience to god and rebelling against the things that are contrary to god's ways they did not disobey the king just because they wanted to disobey authority I mean, they did it because they wanted to obey the one and only, the highest authority. And so today, as you go about your day, understand that there is only one God that deserves worship. There's only one God that deserves our praise. And that God is to be feared and no one else. And so regardless of the threats that you may get, persecution, uh, persecution is you are, you are, you are, you are, you are really, really hated and talked about that for your faith and for doing right. It doesn't matter because you, you know what, <laughs> your God is going to show up for you as he did for the three Hebrew boys. He's going to defend you. He's going to protect you. He's going to keep you. Imagine they changed the laws. <laughs> it's like the boys had the last laugh. And so in all of our doing, all we want to see is God glorified. All we want to see is God exalted. And God is only the one that we should worship and we should fear. We we'll always remember that he alone is God. So fear no man for he made all things. Have an amazing, amazing day. Hello boys and girls, today is a new day. So, let's get started with the quiz. Number one, Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego were taken from their homeland as young men. King Nebuchadnezzar saw that they were very smart and talented. What job did the king give them in Babylon? A. They were the palace janitors. B. They were wise men. C. They were priests in the Babylonian temples. D. They were servants to the queen. The answer was B. Number two. King Nebuchadnezzar built a great statue that was nine feet tall and nine feet wide. What was that statue made out of? A. Iron B. Silver C. Gold D. Plastic The answer was C. Number 3. King Nebuchadnezzar told all the people that they must worship the statue at a certain time. 
what was the sign that they would be given to fall down and worship the statue? A. A trumpet would blow. B. A fire would be lit. C. Music would play. D. Lights would flash. The answer was C. Number four. Although everyone had been told that they would be killed if they did not worship the statue, Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego did not bow down. Who told the king that they would not worship the idol or any of the Babylonian gods? A. The royal princes B. The king's guards C. The king's astrologers D. The queen The answer was C. Number five, the last question. Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego had been very good servants of Nebuchadnezzar. The king was angry but decided to give them another chance to worship the idol. What did they say to the king when he offered? A. We are sorry and will be glad to worship the idol when the music is played. B. Our parents told us not to, but we are waiting to hear from them again before we do. C. We shouldn't worship your idol, but if everybody else does it, then we will too. D. God will deliver us, and even if he doesn't, we will not worship your idol or any other gods. The answer was D. All right, it's time for the home quiz. As always, the first correct answer that gets to church gets a gift in church. So ask your parents to use the email address called kidszone at solidrockdublin.org to submit your answer. All right, number one in the home quiz. King Nebuchadnezzar got so mad at Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego's response. He was furious. What did he tell the guards to do in addition to throwing them into a fiery furnace? A. Make it seven times hotter than normal. B. Make them take off their coats and wear some t-shirts. C. Tie them up with gold chains. D. Have them tell all the people why they did not obey. Number two, the fire was so hot that it killed the guards who threw Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego into the fiery furnace. A. True or B. False. Number three, Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego should have been burned alive, but they were not. Instead, King Nebuchadnezzar saw them walking with a fourth man in the fire. What did the king say the fourth man looked like? A. The son of Darth Vader. B. The son of God. C. The king's father. D. A skeleton. Number four. What was the unusual thing that King Nebuchadnezzar noticed when Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego came out of the fire? A. They had an angelic glow. B. Their clothes were not burned and did not smell like smoke. C. Their hair had turned white as snow. D. Their burned clothes smelled like roses. Number five, the last question in the home quiz. King Nebuchadnezzar respected Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego so much for their actions that he promoted them and praised their God instead of his idol. True or false? As always, please send your question, correct answers into the church email and the first person that does so correctly gets a prize. 
have the correct answers, put them in an email, send them to church email, which is kidszone at solidrockdublin.org. Establish my covenant with you. To do something like you that our father that God is all knowing. That means he knows everything. He went he ahead. Everything he knows tomorrow. And art. Like I'm so telling silly. you, like you're, you're so seen out. Like you're so guess what? You know you're just all the same, right?